All right, what's up guys? Anastas here with Subtle Cinematics and Rolls Up Production. Today we're working with Elijah Wan on a new single music video. And real quick here, if you guys are new to the channel here, if you haven't seen my content before, my team here at Subtle Cinematics posts a lot of music video behind the scenes and filmmaking tips and tricks videos, business videos in regards to filmmaking. So definitely go check out all of our other content. If you guys wanna go and check out the other behind the scenes we did with this artist, I'll leave it in a hover card up here. Definitely go check that out. We're shooting on a really windy day, downtown Regina, Saskatchewan. It's like minus 15, minus 20 out, kind of cold. We're shooting in a back alley right now. It's the first type of scene. We're doing a lot of um, just random different shots right now, super run and gun. But with that being said, we do have a little warehouse that we're shooting at uh, to, or right after these scenes. So we're gonna be doing that right after and that's gonna have more controlled lighting, um, controlled scenes that are shot list and everything. Let's get this music video going. When you wake up, 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 make sure you ready. You ready. Mm. Guns up and name steady. Name Cause steady. You when you wake up, 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 make sure you ready. You ready. Mm. Guns up and name steady. Name Cause steady. either you die now, now. I tore the heavy. Tore the heavy. Pop his shit like a fed. When you wake up, 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 make sure you ready. Let's just do one more, but I wanna get some like slow mo here. Alright guys, so we just ran first performance scene. We're using the 11 to 20 millimeter f2.8 wide angle lens with a variable ND filter. So variable ND filters, you should not leave for a shoot, especially if you're shooting outdoors in broad daylight, middle of the day without an ND filter. You gotta keep everything exposed. That's so I can shoot at a 2.8 aperture. So we're gonna do another shot here, um, B-roll shots. So we're gonna shoot this in 60 or maybe actually even like 120 FPS we're gonna film this in. So super slow motion. Um, I'm gonna crank the aperture up to around 320. I ain't trying to die now, cause I ain't ready. Uh, but this shit could get messy. They trying to take me out, but I ain't go like a bitch. Like a bitch. Why they me that's just how I'm stitched. In this life, I'm giving poor, but I made this shit rich. I made it rich. I said anything to you with a pitch. On the way to the top, but they really trying to hitch. If you ain't contributing, why you trying to clean the team? Alright guys, so we got the range um, parked up in here underneath this little building here. So we're gonna grab some more performance scene stuff, B-roll. For this, I'm turning the in-body image stabilization off on the camera. And we're just gonna be getting some like really unnatural motion shake on the um, Lumix S1 with the in-body image stabilization turned off. So we're gonna run like one or two performance scenes here quick and then dip out to the next spot. At times I feel I lost my mind. They remember never had the bitch. Young wild and reckless, young living savages. Set up posts like establishes. Got to wrap that bag like some motherfucking bandages. At times I feel. Yeah, it's just a music video. Okay, uh, just so you were, let's see you guys how call your acknowledgement from a marketing manager. Sure. Uh, you just can't film this on our. <laughs> location two kind of got kicked out of location one uh we were kind of filming in like private property but i mean that's what happens when you're filming run and gun stuff security guards were super chill with it you just got up left don't ask questions don't argue with people just get up dip go to the next spot especially again when you're doing run and gun stuff like this so we're in a different parking lot now we're going to be implementing the truck again and we're just gonna be getting some slow-mo and performance scene stuff. So again, just really random footage, shooting it all at the wide angle. Again, the controlled stuff is gonna be at the warehouse scene in the next location that we do um, indoors. So let's get this uh, next scene rolling. What are we saying? What are we saying? I was saying this is gonna turn out. Yeah, we have to stay tuned. And if you ain't putting work, why you trying to steal my dream? Always gotta fucking check first before I get the green. And if you ain't putting work, why you trying to steal my dream? Always gotta fucking check first before I get the green. Cause they like the over. Puffs like establishes. Gotta wrap that bag like some motherfucking bandages. At times I feel. Guns up the next day. So we 
just wrapped up location two. Again, super run and gun, but that's kind of what we had in the treatment. That was the whole premise of like the beginning or the outdoor shot. So the next shot we're gonna do is we're gonna have um, the artist in the back seat of the Range Rover. And I'm gonna be shooting again off the Lumix S1, but because we're using an adapter on there and we're not gonna be using a full frame lens, we'll be using an APS-C lens, the wide angle. I'm actually gonna put the camera into full frame mode. So it's gonna create a natural vignetting on the camera and I'm gonna have the camera set to 11 mils, so super wide. And I'm gonna set the camera up on the middle console, point it to the back seat and the artist's gonna be there with one or two of his friends next to him and it's just gonna be a super wide shot stationary shot and we're gonna pretend to be like driving around but i think it's gonna be like a really cool scene i've never really done anything in like backseat of a car like that where like you can see the vignetting i got the reference off of um one of the kid Leroy music videos that just dropped he was in the back of like an suv and it has like the vignetting and stuff so i wanted to do a similar shot but include other people in the video so i think this will turn out super dope um, but yeah, we're going to the next location right now and I thought I'd just explain it here just because usually it's like kind of madness when we're trying to explain everything on set because it's so damn cold out. We're just trying to get the shot and dip and uh, yeah, it's like super snowy out. It kind of sucks shooting this weather. This is more so just to sprinkle in as like a skeleton throughout the whole music video and just to have those extra shots. But a lot of the music video is going to be based off of um, the really cool lighting setups that we do at the warehouse location. So. We're gonna go run these scenes right now, get back to the office, and we're gonna head to this last location, which is gonna be super dope. Good job, man. Thanks, you're, man. You're really doing good today. Was that smooth or was that smooth? Yeah, man, it's Or almost... option three, was it really smooth? You have to answer. Anything to say, bro, before we start this shit? Yeah, you know, I'm here with my family, man. I had to come touch down, you feel me? Okay, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? What up? Okay. Every time I take me out when I ain't go like a bitch, like a bitch. That term and that's just sounds slick. In this life I'm giving poor, but I make this shit rich. I can sell anything to you with a pitch on the way to the top, but yeah, they really tryna hitch. If you ain't contributing, why you tryna claim the team? They tryna take me out, but I ain't go like a bitch, like a bitch. Why they determine that's just how I'm stitched. In this life I'm giving poor, but I made this shit rich. I rich, sell anything to you with a pitch on the way to the top, but they really tryna hitch. Word, that's bro, that shit looks fucking hard when you first learn it. Who's gonna take over, bro? We about to take over the whole fucking city. Let's get it. Uh huh. This my bro. You ain't got no names over here, bro. This my other bro. Unless you're trying to say a name. Yo, man. Call me Skyler. Leave this part though. Go like this. Go like this. <laughs> yeah, man. Fuck. Live in the fucking flesh. <laughs> Fuck, man. Behind the scenes, it's like, think about this. When I'm rich as fucking famous, don't you want to look behind the scenes? <laughs> oh. See where we started, bro? Like. Mm. Take me up, but I ain't go like a bitch, like a bitch. Why they determine that's just how I'm stitched. In this life, I'm giving poor, but I made this shit rich. Hey, I'm the next location. We're going to the warehouse right now. So we got the keys. It might be cold as shit in there, but there is a there's some heat in there. I just have to turn it on when we get there. But we're gonna set up all the lights and everything. It's gonna look dope. It's look really dope. We're about to turn the fuck up. This about to go crazy. Y'all seen that happen first behind the scenes. Ah. It's gonna turn out, you know. I always gotta put the trust in the rosy. I always bangs it out, man. The best to do it. Come on now. So we are at the last location here. We're at the warehouse. So we have the hazer going right now in the background. Um, this just helps with the lighting. It makes everything look a little more crisp. So I love to use the hazers for music videos. It is a must if you can get that um, on your sets. They're about 30 bucks to rent. I think it was 30 bucks for the whole weekend to rent it. So and they're about three or four hundred dollars new if you want to purchase something like that. 
Now we're gonna get a shot of Elijah just standing right here and he's gonna be rapping to the camera. I have a camera, the S1 on a tripod and we're getting various tripod shots because we're gonna be adding effects and whatnot into um, these shots. Basically the first scene that we're gonna get, we're gonna shoot in 24 FPS. Majority of the shots are gonna be in 24 that are gonna be on the tripod shooting at 50 shutter and about 2.8 aperture and we have two aperture 300D2 lights going with light domes with grid. We're just gonna do shots where the lights are turned on, just um, nicely exposing the artist. And then we're also gonna have everything kind of strobing for the next scene as well. Again, shooting in 24 FPS. And then we have two bowling RGB pocket lights that are actually strobing behind me right now. These lights are around $100, I believe, and they're full RGB spectrum. They got strobes and everything in a little $100 pocket light. These scenes are looking really crispy so far. I'm gonna lay over some stuff right now as well as some BTS footage of how everything's looking. Back out and then go like this, cause really wide. Yes, yep. Then come back in. Behind the scenes, another hit, shout out Royal Z, shout out homeboy, this is going crazy. I already know Royal Z, six picks, we're going crazy. Well, I just went from red to white, about to turn them let go crazy. So, so close your eyes, like stay right there, stay right there. Now close your eyes, now open them. Okay, well that's it, that's it, sick. So we need it every 10 seconds to focus. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> learn how to do that bro myself i learned in my backyard 15 minutes all it took <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that's a wrap for this music video. Kind of hit a little bit of a time constraint, like literally an hour in. I was told that they had to leave in like 30 minutes. So we basically got, I believe, I want to say like four performance scenes and some B-roll shots. So I mixed up the performance scenes. I did two in 24 FPS, two in 60 FPS. 
and then I just got one full out B-roll shot in all 60. And I split it up between tripod shots as well as um, using the Pro Blends as well. So that's gonna be used as the intro shot most likely. It's gonna be the eye opening and then we're gonna zoom into some sort of title transition, uh, the title of the song, artist name and everything. But overall, really awesome shoot. Again, very run and gun but I think it turned out really well. Um, I'll leave the link in description if you guys are looking to check out the full edited music video in there. But that's a wrap for today's music video, guys. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more filmmaking tips and tricks videos, vlogs, business tips, and more. See you guys on the next video. Peace. I'm lost, 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 I'm l